Call it black market beauty, products tainted with dangerous levels of mercury. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Tony Lopez. I'm Adrian Moore. So how are they getting into the country? CBS 13's Marissa Perlman is live in downtown Sacramento tonight getting answers for us. Marissa. Adrian, women are buying these illegal beauty products online with just the click of a button, and now they seem to be suffering the consequences. We first told you about a Sacramento woman who had been using a cold cream laced with mercury for two years. Well, tonight she is still here at a Sacramento hospital in a coma, fighting for her life. Cosmetics is a billion dollar industry, and uh, everybody wants a piece of this pie. Area doctors have seen it firsthand, calling it an illegal crisis online. It's, it's so readily accessible. I mean, you saw it yourself how easy it is just to go online and buy whatever you want. There have been more than 60 poisonings linked to foreign branded, unlabeled, or homemade skin creams tainted with a less toxic form of mercury. Cosmetic surgeon Dr. Christine Lee says the products are still out there. They're actually not legal, but you can just buy them here in the U.S. and have them shipped to you. Tuesday, 30-year-old Maria Estela Esparza Magallanes was arrested for selling creams. She told customers the illegal products could lighten skin color, remove age spots, and treat acne. They had never been tested. No one had ever blessed her actions. We called Assistant U.S. Attorney Amanda Bettinelli, who's on this case. She was using different product names, both Crema Jimena and Crema Esparza. In September, a Sacramento woman, a 47-year-old mother of five, ended up in a coma after regularly using a tainted cream. Her case inspired the State Department of Public Health to launch a public outreach effort about the black market. We were concerned about the traffic of mercury-laden skin creams. So we asked, how do these products end up in the country? We're told there's an informal network of suppliers that bring in these creams, usually through smuggling. If they were to come through proper channels, they would be evaluated by the FDA, the claims that she's making, both on her website, on her actual product labels. Dr. Lee says there's no enforcement and no current laws or regulation to stop it. There's just absolutely no enforcement of the laws in this area, and it's being totally ignored. Well, family members of the woman in the hospital tonight tell us they don't know if this recent case has anything to do with this Sacramento mom here. Again, Maggie Yannis faces up to 26 years in prison if convicted of the three charges she's facing tonight. Uh, hoping for the very best for that woman still in the hospital tonight, but the message is clear. Buyer beware. Marissa, thanks so much for that live report.